creepy people and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we are just going to be doing some unboxings of, of course, the April and the May horror pack unboxing. It's safe to say that I am more behind than I have ever been in my horror pack unboxing journey. I don't have any reviews right away for you guys. I really just wanted to film my unboxing for these two just to see what movies we get. So if you guys are horror movie fans, if you guys are movie buffs like myself and you enjoy unboxing movies and you want to see what we got for both the April and the May pack, then we're just going to jump right into it. But really quickly, if you guys do not know what horror pack is, horror Pack is a horror movie subscription service where every month you get four new DVD and or Blu-rays and they are all horror movie genre related. You never know what you're going to get. Sometimes you discover movies that become your new favorites and sometimes you discover movies that you've never seen before. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into it. I will put a link to Horror Pack's website down in the description box in case any of you guys are interested in checking them out and see if you guys want to try it out for yourself. It's not an affiliate link. I'm not making any money off of your clicks. It's just a link for you guys to easily access the site and see if you're interested in joining. Without further ado, let's see what we get in the April pack. I wasn't going to film these unboxings until I had reviews ready for you guys, but I just, I don't, and I just, I keep falling more and more behind. So I just wanted to just film the unboxing, just make it a fun unboxing video. Hang on, I need scissors. Right, here we go. So on the inside of the April horror pack, we have four new Blu-rays in here. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. We have a slipcover one. Um, Let's just go ahead and jump right into this. I'm gonna take the one off of the very bottom. So the first movie for April of 2023 is, oh, ooh. Oh my gosh, I have never even heard of this movie before. It has a lot of really good, actors and actresses in it. We have Charlize Theron, Courtney Love, Stuart Townsend, and Kevin Bacon. Well, the first one we got for April is the movie Trapped. And I have never heard of this one before. What the heck? It looks to be a little bit of an older one. Okay, yeah, so this was made in 2002. It's an hour and 46 minutes long. And it looks like it's some sort of like thriller, kind of. I absolutely love Charlize Theron, if you guys have ever seen the movie Monster, where Charlize Theron plays Eileen Warnos, the female serial killer that was put to death in Florida, she's fabulous in that movie. I absolutely love that movie. And ever since I saw that movie, I've been a huge Charlize Theron fan. So I'm really, really excited about this one. This one is very cool. So on the back, it says, from the producer of Thelma and Louise comes a white knuckle edge of your seat thriller starring Academy Award winner Charlize Theron, Courtney Love, Stuart Townsend and Kevin Bacon. And their daughter is taken for ransom by a gang of serial kidnappers. A young doctor and his wife find themselves held hostage while a 24 hour plan to extort their money is set into motion. With time running out and the health of their asthmatic daughter at serious risk, they find themselves in a race against the clock as the perfect crime begins spiraling towards an unthinkable, terrifying and deadly conclusion. Okay, so this literally, this sounds right up my alley. I've never seen this. I've never even heard of this movie. What the heck? Super excited about this one. If you guys have ever seen this movie, please let me know. Like, is it as, is it as good as it sounds? Because it sounds really, really good. All right, I think next I want to see what the slipcover one is. So we're going to take that one out next. The second one for April is... It looks to be another animated film, and this one is called you, To Your Last Death. Interesting. Again, never heard of this one. William Shatner's in this? Oh, that's funny. Okay, so this one is not rated. It is 92 minutes long, and it was made in 2018. And yeah, it literally looks like a an animated film, like a cartoon type thing. Uh, on the back it says, after emerging as the sole survivor in a deadly revenge game set up by her father to punish his children, Miriam receives an offer from a supernatural entity to go back in time and try again. Now Miriam must survive both her father's bloodlust and the game master's ever-changing rules to save her siblings as she relives her the worst night of her life. Interesting. Uh... <laughs> Definitely not something I would usually watch or gravitate to, but I mean, it's an animated film and it looks like it was done well. Here's just what like the back 
cover art of this one looks like. All right, we have two movies left. We're gonna take the one off of the very top. I have a feeling this may be our Horror Pack Limited Edition. It is not. This one is an IFC Midnight film, and this one is Zach Parker's Proxy. And on the top it says, a worthy successor to Rosemary's Baby. I love Rosemary's Baby. That movie just like fucks me up, man. Here is the third one that we got for the month of April. Looks very interesting. I have a feeling this one's gonna be really, really weird. Uh, this one was made in 2013. It is not rated and it is 122 minutes. So over just about two hours long. So let's see what it says on the back. This one looks like it's gonna be weird and creepy. In the last month of her pregnancy, Esther Woodhouse is savagely beaten in an alleyway by an unknown assailant and loses her baby. To aid in her recovery, she attends a support group for grieving parents where she meets Melanie who claims her son and husband were killed by a drunk driver. Esther and, Mel and Melanie develop a friendship, but soon it becomes clear that both are harboring much darker secrets than they initially, initially, and when both of their lives are transformed by another shocking act of violence, they find that recovery may be impossible. With wildly unpredictable twists and, tur and turns, Proxy is a fascinating, unnerving, and endlessly unpredictable psychological thriller. Okay. This movie, I have a feeling, is definitely not going to be for everyone. I don't even know if I'll be able to get through it just based off of a lot of the content in here, but yeah, very interesting. This one, I don't know, I have a feeling this one could be like really, really creepy and weird and disturbing for sure. I don't know, I just, I get those vibes. If you guys have ever seen this movie, let your girl know. All right, the last one that we have for April 2023 is probably going to be our Horror Pack Limited Edition. You always get a Horror Pack Limited Edition in every single case. And this one looks like we have a signed director's copy. So the Horror Pack that we got for the month of April 2023 is 73 minutes. Here is what the cover of this one looks like. And on the back, it is a signed director's copy, which is pretty cool. Um, 82 minutes, it was made in 2020. So on the back of this one, it says, Monica is driving home after an intimate encounter when she gets a call from a private number. The anonymous caller threatens her daughter's life if she doesn't deliver a client file to him. He sends her coordinates to a location 73 minutes away and warns her not to deviate from the GPS instructions or call the police. Now she has 73 minutes to figure out what the caller wants with the file. She enlists the help of her lover to solve the mystery in order to save her daughter, but as they get closer to figuring out the identity of the caller, they realize that all of their lives are in peril. Okay, this sounds really good. Really, really good. I love stuff like this. It's just, it's always very chilling and scary when I watch movies like this, like when they give you like a deadline. You know, I feel like there's a movie, like a more mainstream movie that's very similar to this, but I cannot think of the name of it. That one was really good too, because I know I've seen that one and this one sounds very similar. So I don't know, this one could be really good. The only thing is sometimes horror pack limited editions can be very slow. Um, and they can also be not acted the best, like the actors aren't really the best, but this one sounds really, really good. So I'm excited about this one. Okay, guys, those were all of the movies for April of 2023. What do you guys think? This one was pretty interesting. I think the two that I'm most excited for is Trapped and 73 minutes out of the April one. I think these are going to be really, really good. Now we are finally gonna get caught up with the May 2023 Horror Pack unboxing. The June Horror Pack box should probably be here soon, honestly, so I probably should have waited and just included that in this one, but I don't know. So again, we have four new Blu-rays in here. Absolutely no idea what we're gonna get. April looks like it was a pretty good one, so let's hope that May is as well. I'm gonna take the one off the very top, and the first movie we got for May of 2023 is Annabelle Creation. Oh my gosh, okay. I do own this one, so this one is really, really good. And what I can say, out of all of the Annabelle movies, the Annabelle Creation, this movie, scared me the most. I don't know why, but this movie was so 
so incredibly chilling like it scared the crap out of me I, I went and saw it in theaters and it was so creepy but these movies are really really good all right moving on I'm gonna take the one off of the very bottom here the second one that we got for May 2023 is oh this one is called the turning what could that be about it's not a horror pack limited edition Here's what the cover of this one looks like. I don't recognize this, but apparently it includes an alternate ending. So that's always exciting. So this was made in 2020. It is rated PG-13. It is an hour and 35 minutes long. Uh, here's what the back of this one looks like. I don't, I don't think I've ever seen or heard of this movie before. So on the back of this one, it says, The Turning stars Finn Wolfhard and Mackenzie Davis in a thrilling adaptation of Henry James' landmark novel. At a mysterious estate in the Maine countryside, ooh, Maine, I love Maine, a newly appointed nanny is charged with the care of two disturbed orphans. She quickly discovers that both the children and the house are harboring dark secrets and things may not be as they appear. Okay, so this is apparently based off of a novel, which is always good. Sometimes those end up being really, really good movies. I've never seen this and I've never heard of it, but I'm really excited to watch this. It sounds like it's going to be kind of like a jump scary type movie, but I can also see this movie being a little bit slow. So it'll be interesting to see how they interpreted the book and made it into a movie. So that sounds good. Have you guys ever seen this? Let me know. Right, two movies left for the month of May. We're going to move on to the third movie, and this one is our Horror Pack Limited Edition. Ooh, this one has really, really cool cover art. So here is our Horror Pack Limited Edition for the month of May, and this one is called Prosper. This one looks... It, it, it looks to be, it's going to be like a cheesy one. Uh, this one is 90 minutes long. It was made in 2014. And on the back it says, The rumored daughter of Sarah Good, the first witch to be tried and hung during the Salem Witch Trials, lives and commands the spirit world at her fingertips. Irene, as she is known, must sacrifice the must sacrifice the lives of a small group of youths every 30 years for preserving her own youthful appearance, powers, and prosperity. On this day, Irene sets the bait for Dalton, an unassuming young man looking for closure in his brother's accidental death. She promises Dalton the allure of reconnecting with his deceased sibling while suggesting he bring his, friend, his friends along for the show. Sam, Dalton's closest friend, ignores the warning signs, tags along for the ride, and finds herself the only person left alive after a night of gruesome events. Okay, so it sounds, it sounds good, but is it actually going to be good? I don't know. I don't know, you guys. And we have one movie left for the month of May 2023. Let's see what it is. Hopefully it's a good one. Here we go. I don't think it's so crazy. I haven't heard of any of these movies except for Annabelle. Like all these other ones, I don't have a clue. What the heck is this one? So the final movie that we got for May 2023 is, uh, what is that? Emily? Emile? Emily? Uh, this one was made in 2015. It is 82 minutes long. And this one is also not rated. As right here on the bottom, the babysitter is here. So I wonder what that means. Let's go ahead and see what it says on the back. As their parents head out for a date in the city, the three young Thompson children immediately take to their new babysitter, Anna, who seems like a dream come true. She's sweet, fun, and lets them do things that break all of their parents' rules. But as Anna's interactions with them take a more sinister tone, the kids realize that their caretaker may not be who she claims to be. And soon it's up to big brother Jacob to protect his siblings from the increasingly nefarious intentions of a very disturbed woman. Okay, this one sounds really, really good. The only thing I'm confused about is the babysitter's name is Anna, but the, the title of this movie is M Emily. Am I saying that right? Emily. Yeah, Emily, right? So who's Emily? I'm assuming that's one of the kids. I don't know. Regardless, this one actually sounds really good. I really, really want to watch this one. I thought I've seen a lot of movies in my life, but apparently not because, wow, I have never heard of any of these. Okay, guys, and those are all the movies that we got for the month of May. So now we have 
all new movies to add to my watch list, which I say it is just ever so it's, it's growing. It's getting there. It's getting real big. We have a lot of movies to watch. I will eventually get to all of these movies. You guys will just have to bear with me here. But yeah, let me know down below if you guys have seen any of these movies, if any of them are any good. Let me know down below. I would love to hear your thoughts and opinions. So I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did and you are a horror movie fan like myself, please go down and give this video a huge thumbs up. I would greatly appreciate it. If you are new to my channel and this is the first video of mine that you are seeing, please go down and make sure you are subscribed. Hit the red subscribe button, turn on all notifications. I would love to have you join the family. But as the rest of you, I love you guys so very much. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you very soon in my next video. I love you guys. Bye!